Hello. Today's video we're going to discuss ways to help someone with complex post-traumatic stress disorder or CPTSD. Many people who have survived narcissistic abuse develop PTSD or more commonly CPTSD as a result of the constant abuse. As the C implies, it is a very complex disorder which makes it very difficult to live with and to manage. Often due to the complex nature of CPTSD, People in the lives of someone with this disorder don't have a clue to help the person, and often the person with the disorder isn't always sure what kind of help to ask for anyway. There are a few basic things you can do to help almost anyone that has CPTSD, though, and I'm going to explain them in this video. If someone you love has CPTSD, to help them at all, you need to know some about triggers. Triggers are things that trigger a flashback or an emotional flashback, or at the very least remind you of something traumatic and upsetting. Sometimes triggers are obvious. For example, the scent of the cologne the man who sexually assaulted you was wearing could be an obvious trigger. But sometimes they aren't so obvious. In fact, we may not even know that something is a trigger until it happens. A few weeks back, I had a flashback when a character in a TV show said a phrase. I never knew that was a trigger until that moment. Also, you have to know that triggers are unavoidable. No matter how much we try, we can't avoid them entirely, and you can't protect us all the time. It'd be nice if those things were possible, but they aren't. No matter how much we try, triggers do happen. And when they do, please just be patient and understanding, even if you don't understand what we're going through. Listen. To process trauma completely, people have to talk about it a lot, sometimes over and over again. If you want to help us, please just listen patiently. Don't say things like, you told me this already, or I've heard this story ten times. We aren't trying to be annoying, we're trying to work out our pain. Let us know you're willing to listen, too. If you see us getting upset, ask why we're upset and if there's anything you can do to help. Validate us. Sometimes saying something as simple as, what happened to you was unfair, I'm sorry you went through that, can go a long way. Part of our problem is never being validated, but invalidated instead. We want and need validation, so please provide it. Unless we ask for advice, please do not give it. Aside from the fact it's just rather rude, it's very annoying. Some problems can't be fixed, or we would have fixed them already. Sometimes we just need to vent and not try to fix something. Since those of us with CPTSD live with it, we're trying to make ourselves better and healthier all the time. Maybe we need a break from fixing. We just want to rant for a few minutes. Please just let us and don't judge us for what we feel or say. Do not encourage us to fix the relationship with the person or people who are the reason for us having CPTSD. This is very important. Just because it bothers you we don't have our parents in our lives doesn't mean it's a good enough reason to set ourselves up to be abused further. Besides, one person alone can never fix a relationship no matter how hard they try or how much they may want to fix it. Please understand, we do not mean to be difficult. If we can't explain what we're feeling or why we need to stay home instead of going out, please know it frustrates us too. We're trying, but sometimes a disorder really does get to be very overwhelming and it can be quite debilitating. Be sure to let us know you're in it for the long haul. Please leave us alone when we need time to ourselves or help us when we need help. Most of us with CPTSD have trust issues, so unfortunately for you, you're going to have to prove that you're trustworthy over and over. Sorry, we, this isn't something we can help, it's just it's a way of life. Learn about CPTSD. There are a ton of good websites out there with good information, including my site at www.cynthiabaileyrug.com. Knowing you cared enough to read up on CPTSD will definitely go a long way with anyone that has disorder. Thank you for watching my video, and I'll see you next time.